Uh, okay, my friends, it's day um, day 10 of my stay at home, and I just, just thought I'd do this puzzle. Um, can, can you just help me out a bit? Um, let's see. Oh, this, this one? What, where? Oh, okay. Oh, the other side, all right. Oh, here, here. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, thanks for that. Um, this one? This one? What? What? Oh, the side. Over here? Oh, sorry. The other side, the other side. Okay. Oh, you guys are good at this. Fantastic. Um, this one? This one? All right, all right. There, there. Fantastic. Brilliant. All joined up top and bottom. Oh, I love putting things in order. I love doing puzzles. Brilliant. I, I've also been making some things uh, while I've Staying at home, do you want to see what I made? Here we go, these are really good. I made, how about that, a tree. Isn't that brilliant? Excellent, let's see if it stands up. I will, we'll, we'll put it over here. And I also made, now this is even more brilliant, drum roll. I made a Lego sheep, how good is that? Now, I know what you're thinking, I know you're going, hey, that sheep's blue. Sheep aren't blue, they're yellow. Well, sorry about that, I didn't have any yellow Lego, so I had to make a blue sheep. Here, we'll put it there. All right, ready for the story? Let's go. The image of God. Adults are funny. When they see a baby, they say things like, isn't she cute? She looks just like her dad. Now this is silly because dads are boys and baby girls are girls and some dads have beards but babies do not have a beard, not even baby boys. Now it is true that some dads and babies are both baldies so maybe when you see a baby you could say, isn't she cute? She's a baldy just like her dad. Do you reckon that's a good idea? Well, warning, warning, mums get a bit funny about that sort of thing. While it may sound silly to say a baby is an image of her dad, but if you look closely, they might have the same shaped ears or the same smile. So when you see a baby, you could say she's an image of her dad. What about you? Who are you like? Maybe people say you're the image of your Auntie Helen. They might mean, you are tall like Auntie Helen. Or maybe you have snazzy hair just like Auntie Helen. Or wear nifty clothes like Auntie Helen. Or laugh like Auntie Helen. Okay, let's do the Auntie Helen laugh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I could have sworn Auntie Helen was in the room. Or dance like Auntie Helen. Okay, would you like me to teach you the Auntie Helen dance? Well, I'm not gonna stand up and do the whole thing, but here, I'll show you. Now what you do is you get one hand like this, and you get the other hand like that. Okay, can you do that? Now then you slowly go like this. And you imagine music. And make sure your movements are out of time to the music. That's it. You are doing the Auntie Helen. <gasps> oh, stop. Enough dancing. Let's get back to this story. Oh, where were we up to? Oh, somewhere around here. Oh, I shouldn't have got sidetracked. Oh, that there. Or maybe you love snails, just like Auntie Helen. So when people meet you, they could say that you are the image of your Auntie Helen. Now, while you can say a baby is the image of her dad, and you're all the image of your Auntie Helen, did you know that you are made in the image of God? This is so important, so important, it's on page one of the Bible. Okay, let's read it together. Are you ready? Here we go. So, God created humans in his own image, in the image of God, he created them. He created them male and female. Genesis 1 verse 27. So if you are a human, 
If you are a girl, hello girls, or a boy, hello boys, or a man, hi men, or a woman, hi women, or a baby, hi babies, you are made in the image of God. Does that mean because you have snazzy hair and a funny laugh that God has snazzy hair and a funny laugh? No, that would be silly like the dad baby beard thing. But there are things about you that reflect the image of God. Do you like to make things? What do you like to make? Maybe you like to make um, trees or Lego. How good is that? Well, God likes to make things. So when you make things, you reflect the image of God. Do you like frogs, trees and koalas? God likes frogs, trees and koalas. So when you enjoy frogs, trees and koalas, you reflect the image of God. Do you like to put things in order? Like jigsaws? Well, God likes to put things in order. So when you put things in order, maybe jigsaws or your sock drawer or all your pencils in a pencil case, that reflects the image of God. Oh, do you get angry or upset if you see someone hurt someone else? Well, so does God. Do you like to help people if they've been hurt? Well, that reflects the image of God. So, while a baby can be the image of her dad, and you can be the image of Auntie Helen, the most important thing of all is that you are made in the image of God. Okay, well that's our story there. And I better try and do a bit more of this jigsaw. Let's see, where would they go? Oh, there. Oh, it doesn't go there. Oh, it doesn't go there. Oh, this might take a while, so um, I'll, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.